Hi, I'm here with another Wow Watts on Wheels famous RV recipe, and I'm going to be making my beef vegetable soup. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two KM motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Here's the ingredients. Just need a pound of ground beef. This is 80%. You can use 90. I got one onion, a green pepper. I got a large can of petite diced tomatoes. You can use, I like a lot of tomatoes in it, so you can use a smaller size can and you can use regular size diced tomatoes. And I have one pound of frozen vegetables. I like to use the vegetables for soup that you can get in the frozen section as well, but that's sometimes hard to find. I think the only difference is they add potatoes to it. So um, I use, I'm going to be using that. And the key is to use V8. Dave likes it kind of spicy, so I'm going to use V8 spicy hot, but you can use regular V8 as well or kind of mix them and make it just a little bit spicy. But that's the key. You got to use V8. And that's all the ingredients that you need except for some water and some spices. So I'm going to start by chopping up my vegetables. If you have any leftover cooked vegetables from previous dinners or you want to have, add anything else to it that you might have, asparagus, or Brussels sprouts, cabbage, anything else that's always good to add. I got this recipe from my mom growing up and it would last forever because as we were having dinner she'd have leftover vegetables and she'd just keep throwing it in the pot. I happen to have an old worn out Pampered Chef Chopper, so I'm going to use that. Whoops. <laughs> well, I've kind of abused this thing over the years, I think. It still chops well. I'm going to use my induction cooktop because I'm at a camps ground and I may as well use their electricity instead of my propane. And I'm just going to basically start it out on high and I've got uh, half a cup of water in there, just enough to cover my vegetables. Dave loves this soup and it's great. For a snack as well because it's good for you. So I let that boil for about uh, three minutes or so and then I add the beef. I just break it up when I put it in there. Just gonna stir that in with the onions and green pepper and make sure that the meat gets completely cooked while that's cooking, I'm going to add salt for taste. So now, I don't really measure it, I just kind of put it in there. Pepper. And it just keeps stirring and breaking up the meat. It only takes a couple of minutes for this to cook long enough to get the meat done. At this point, you can, you can drain it. I usually leave the juice in there with the fat because I like the flavor that it adds. Now I'm going to add my tomatoes. Well, I have a thing I might need a bigger pot. Then I'm going to add my juice for my V8. Well, the bad news is my pot's too small. Good news is I have a bigger pot. I knew I should have done that to begin with. Now I can get the rest of my V8 in there. I'll add about a half a bottle, close to a half a bottle of water to my V8 jug and cleans out my jug and that way I pour it into my soup. So this is a huge batch of soup that I'm making. This was a 64 ounce a V8. You could go to 32 ounce and um, make a smaller batch. And I'm going to add my 
pound of vegetables. And you can add, when it's all done cooking, you can add cooked rice or cooked potatoes to it. Mm. Alright, being the dummy that I am, I actually doubled this recipe, so I'm going to put another pound of mixed vegetables in here. Just a Walmart stuff. I'll put the actual ingredients for a smaller batch in the description below. So here's what it's looking like right now. Since I made a double batch by accident, I went ahead and split them up. So here is one pot of the soup. And now that it's um, got all the ingredients in there, I actually added a little bit more onion and I found a couple of sweet peppers. So I cut them up. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to keep cooking it until the vegetables are done, which will probably take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Now it's been 20 minutes, so let's see how we're looking. You're looking pretty good. Oh yeah. I'm going to add a little seasoned salt. And this is Dash. All optional. Nice and hearty. Especially with winter time coming up here. Dave's going to be in a little bit. We'll see how he likes it. You've been working hard outside all day. Mm -hmm. You've been asking for the soup, so. Mm, I got it. Good soup. Now look at that soup. Clusters of vegetables, and beef, and a rich, savory sauce. Ooh. Rich, savory, spicy tomato sauce. Oh, yum. Well, you talk about vegetable soup, this is it. It's quick and easy. It's easy. Just like me. I just tasted it, and it doesn't, it's not spicy to me. Dave likes his spicier, so he's going to add, was it sriracha? Sriracha. So... Just a little bit of sriracha. If you do use a spicy V8, don't worry that it's going to be too spicy. Because... Uh, it's not. It's not. But now you put a little sriracha in it. Now you're talking. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.